American Idol has changed television, the music industry, and our schools. How did a reality TV show impact the way educators operate? The Murray School District right here in Utah is setting an example for future idol onslaughts. Tonight, Fox 13's Erica Vaughn shows us how and takes us behind the scenes of David Archuleta's American Idol ride. Erica? Bob and Hope David was a junior at Murray High when thousands around the world fell in love with him. The district sought advice from East High on their experience with High School Musical. They also heard from Jordan Sparks School in Arizona where they said Idol handled them, not the other way around. So Murray decided to take the wheel before getting on the Idol ride. <laughs> School spirit spilled over early in season seven as David Archuleta stood out on the idol stage. His classmates watched the show together in Murray High's auditorium. Fox 13 covered their viewing parties. The party just ended. We can show you all these kids over here. They've got their phones out. They're still texting. D. Wright is the public relations specialist for Murray School District. She was there every time we entered the school, and she stayed until 10 p.m. for these live interviews, all while juggling requests from Entertainment Tonight, National Networks. Access Hollywood, um, TV Guide, I believe. There was an article in People that talked about our high school. Long before cameras caught the delirium over David, the school district weighed its options. First, no media access at all. School stays status quo. Or second, bring it on and roll with it. I turned down TMZ because their requests didn't seem wholesome enough to me. The district set some standards. They had all 1,600 students sign releases and set up strict rules for the press. That we wouldn't have any media people on our properties without an escort. Wright's experience was published by the National School Public Relations Association. Educators across the country now have her tips on idle. Wright compares it to riding a mechanical bull. If you didn't hold on, you might fall off. Oh, no, Wright wishes she'd had a rule book for when Archuleta reached Idol Finals. The show, all its producers, all the local and national media converged on Murray High for a homecoming extravaganza. We spoke to her back in 2008 as it was happening. Well, when they started talking about how many porta potties we would need, <laughs> that's what I thought was a little daunting. So what does she think two years later? That homecoming was in May of 2008 during the last very busy weeks of the school year. Coming up a little later in the show, how Murray School District juggled it all. Live in the newsroom, Erica Vaughn, Fox 13 News, Utah.